going on everybody see here oh welcome back to some more osiris new dawn we're back we're doing the things last episode we built our amazing little workshop here i like it i think it's pretty cool and uh, it seems like everybody else is enjoying it as well so last episode we were talking about uh storage and getting things done so this i think i have an idea for this i think i have a plan um what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some storage in here but i think we're gonna go and run with the um the scrap metal chests because they're just cheaper um, and I don't want to go through and try to make a whole bunch of depositories right now. That's going to be like, you know, we, we'll get there. We'll get there. But scrap metal chest, literally scrap metal, scrap hinge, and a makeshift patch tape. Like, that's super easy. So we're going to grab those. We're going to start with making some storage chests in there for uh, for some, like, raw resources and whatnot. So we can, you know, work on stuff there. And then um, I want to go over, and I think we're going to try to pick up the drone and maybe the large rover i don't know we're gonna see what happens here so uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things so we need a few things um we need those scrap hinges and we need i'm gonna need all of that scrap hinge scrap 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 we can grab all this stuff uh let's see do we have any other no other fibers in there let's check in here for some fibers as well fibers patch tape because we need makeshift patch tape there's more scrap hinges we're not gonna need as many scrap hinges but okay so let me go ahead let me get some patch tape made up real quick and then we're gonna start placing these uh, storages down and then we're gonna head over we're gonna see what we need for our friendly little drone oh my gosh i'm encumbered with just the oh i have a lot of scrap on me <laughs> lots of scrap okay so let's grab ourselves a scrap metal chest here now everybody's telling me that we can stack these up which is super cool so we're actually gonna go ahead and do that um you know let's kind of put them over here let's put them right here let's do that and we'll get some more we're gonna get them stacked up here i think because everybody was telling me that we can stack these bad boys oh i like that okay so we've got a stack five high oh i like that that'll actually work out perfectly okay and then um, i think i actually only have enough stuff for one more we gotta go get some more berries to make more patch tape i think the other one's gonna go right here yeah i like that let me go grab some more berries let's make this happen all right there's our uh, our two towers of storage <laughs> amazing all right so what do i want to keep in here um let's go ahead and let's put like finished products maybe like in this storage chest right here and then they will go ahead and throw like scrap and hinges and like the the raw like scrap material i guess in these i don't know we'll, we'll figure this out we'll figure this out okay so how are we good are we good now um how's our storage looking inventory wise 53 percent weight not bad let's go ahead oh we got more scrap right there okay um scrap in here nope scrap in here all right so now we're good okay so let's head over let's head over to the um the drone and let's see what we needed for that guy now i'm pretty sure the drone was what is this yeah right here that's where we need to go gosh this map is super nice again apologies for not using this um i was like i said i was used to like a hand tool thing and uh i didn't have the hand tool so i didn't think i could use that <laughs> so i think we're coming up yeah the rover right here okay so let's see what we actually need for this guy here uh begin repairs so we need fuel cell circuit board and derillium. Is that with all of these? Oh, it looks like it's actually only just the one. Uh, let me go ahead and salvage some of this stuff. Let's get some stuff cleared out of the way here. So that one's just a rubber. Circuit board. Fuel cell circuit board. Is that the same strut? That is the same strut. Okay, what about this one? Just a circuit board and derillium um okay this one's not operational oh it says operational what salvage okay wrecked rubber wheel here we go so we just need rubber for those wrecked rover axle okay let's take that got some brass out of it now rubber what does this mean derillium and brass oh we could actually build that one
Okay, so there's that. Um, blocked by wreckage. What's wrecked here? Three of five wreckage is cleared. Oh, wrecked rover axle right here. Okay. There's one more wreckage somewhere. Where are you? It says this is blocked by wreckage. Oh, oh. Uh, apparently we can just walk right inside of the thing. Okay. Then we can just walk right out. Okay, so... Oh, we got a fuel cell, actually. Wait, can we get this guy going? Okay, so we need a circuit board. Circuit board, fuel cell, drilling. So we need one more fuel cell, two circuit boards. Two more rubber. Oh, there's a uh, brass derillium rubber axle. Derillium circuit board. So we need like a bunch of derillium, bunch of circuit boards, and some brass. That's actually not going to be super expensive, I don't think. Derillium circuit board. Yeah, I think we'll be good. Okay. All right. Uh, now let's go check in on our. Actually, can we just repair this bad boy? Perfect. Let's go check in on our uh, little drone guy. And actually, we'll see if these crates respawn to anything. I don't think they did because I already cleaned up this area. No, they didn't. So let's see, where's our drone at? Our drone is right here, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on the other side of this guy. Okay, so begin repairs. So we need wire, circuit board, power cell, talonite. Wire, circuit board, power cell, talonite. Okay. All right, I've got a full list. I had to write everything down because I knew I was going to forget. So I got a full list of everything that I need, the, the, the quantity of everything we need. We're going to head back. We're going to get everything made up here. And then we're actually going to probably hoof it back over here. Kind of stinks because, like, you know, walking is so much slower. But we'll probably go ahead and walk back over here. Um, is Because if we're going to have a rover, then we might as well walk. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our drone, head over to the rover, repair the rover, and then hopefully have some awesome stuff, some awesome new things to play with here. Now, I'm actually kind of curious, too, about the drone and the rover um, upgrades wise. Because I imagine the drone probably has some upgrades similar to this guy. So I'm actually really curious to see that. And I'm actually kind of curious to see like how fast it is, how uh, how capable it is over terrain. Like, is it going to be like our new vehicle that we take everywhere? Or is it going to be like slow and sluggish and we're going to need it for like mobile base kind of stuff? I don't know. I'm curious. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to clear my inventory completely out here because we're, like I said, we're going to be walking. And I don't want to lose anything on the way there all right so it turns out i need more copper because i need some more what is it dimalloy yeah i need some more copper so that i can make more circuit boards and we actually need more plastic as well so we could either a find plastic scrap or we could make plastic this way And I'm not actually sure where we get the hydrocarbon solution from. Um, is that in here? No. I'm not actually sure where we get the hydrocarbon solution from. Because it's not in... Unless there's an upgrade. Is there upgrades for this? No, there's not. Hydrochloric acid. So, like, hydrocarbon solution. Oh. Is that dirty water? Is that what that is now? Maybe? Maybe? Maybe that's one of the pools of stuff laying on the ground. Okay, so you know what? If that's the case, I'm not 100% sure that it is. Uh, let's go ahead and let's take... Let's take a barrel with us. I gotta see what I need to fix a broken barrel. Um, barrel, makes you fat shape and scrap metal. Okay. All right, perfect. So we've got that. That might be... Because there used to be a dirty water thing. 
and it kind of looks the same so we're gonna see like what the odds are of maybe that's actually what it is so we'll take those with us uh let's go do a little exploration we gotta get some copper for sure maybe we'll grab a little bit of other resources like whilst we're out and then see what kind of liquids we can find here actually just do we have liquids on the map by any chance um fabricated low density no it's probably not going to be liquids on the map okay but we do need to find copper so i guess we can go ahead and use our copper is copper high density copper is high density okay so we might have some up here uh but there were there was some pools of stuff gosh where was that pools of liquid at they might have actually been up here let's go see let's go see what we can find because we have every time it rains it says it's a hydrocarbon rain so that makes me think that the water puddles would be hydrocarbon water you know what i'm saying hydrocarbon solution so i'm thinking that's why like the dirty water would essentially be that because it used to be called dirty water <laughs> i'm almost positive it is okay so the first solution that i saw over here um i think this is a green one though so i don't think this is going to be it well might be it you can check it out uh, i'm gonna go ahead and grab my distillio what is this oh my gosh hydrocarbon solution of course perfect let's go ahead and let's get our canisters out here requires liquid wait what oh we need the glass containers okay so that's a little bit well no i think that is probably about right okay so we know where that's at uh actually is there copper over here so we are looking for copper don't see any copper over here okay so we need these we need some glass jars here so let's go ahead and just uh empty out a couple of these that are to the lowest we'll go ahead actually let's just drink and then empty that out okay so we'll grab uh two things of that and we have to go find uh copper as well hey this is all copper right here well heck let's just get out and grab some of this uh, oh i need my tool tool please there we go copper all over the place right here apparently i feel like i'm zoomed in okay so now we should be able to grab our yeah look at that hydrocarbon solution right there perfect i like how it says there's 800 of a thousand in there that's kind of cool all right now let's head back we did get a little bit of copper how much copper did i actually get here 18 that should be enough should be good All right, what did we need for plastic? I know we were, that's, that's the whole reason we went out where it was for plastic and circuit boards. So plastic is made in here. So we need sulfur and lead. All right, let's go grab some sulfur and lead. Wow, I only have four sulfur. Ugh, I must not, yeah, and only have six lead. Okay, I don't have any more anywhere else, do I? Nope, okay, I think that should still be enough for us though. And then I needed the copper for the, was it dimalloy? I'm not positive. Let me wait till this is done. Okay, so let's go through everything that I have here. I think we have everything we need. I'm going to put all the way stuff that I don't need. So we've got, all right, we have it all. We've got everything we need. We should, we should be good. Um, I'm going to take the barrel of hydrogen with me. I might take some plutonium with me because I'm not sure what the, uh, the larger rover is going to run on. Um, and then we need to make sure that we have a decent amount of food in here. Let me go ahead and grab some water. Cause like I said, we're going to be walking. And then we also need to make sure that we have patch tape and bandages. Okay. We should be good. All right. We are going to head our way over to the place. Uh, let's see. Let's open up our map here. What is the, I want to get there like as quick quick as possible we're heading over let's see there's the drone and there's the rover can we like put a marker one? Ooh, there we go 
Oh, nice. Okay. Here we go. Oh, hydrogen, nitrogen. Uh, I probably need to eat some food then. Nutritional Perfect. And away we go. On foot. Oh, we got a friend. You gone? Thank you. Trying to go the path of least resistance here, so I don't have to fight as much. Now, I think we're heading over to the rover first, and the rover would be ideal to get there first, because then we could drive it. Looks like we might have a little friend over here, but we are almost there. Rover, hello. Look at it just like laying there completely. It's like exhausted. It's like, I just can't go any further. I'm so tired. All right, let the repairs begin. Let's do this, Rover. Me and you, come on. Okay, I think this is the last thing right here. And I think our Rover should be good. Oh my gosh. We've got it. Board vehicle. Uh, darn it. And refuel with hydrazine. Of course. Of course, I don't have hydrazine. Uh, I have hydrocarbon solution and I have a hydrogen, but I don't have a hydrazine. <sighs> Looks like we're walking back. You know, I should have known this is hydrazine. I should have known. Should have known. How much storage does this have? Oh, it's got a good amount of storage on it too, man. All right, let's go get our uh, let's go get our little drone. Actually, hold on. Let's see. Are there upgrades for this? Was there any upgrades options? Like, is there maybe like by chance we have the ability to have an upgrade that it would make it open inventory? Oh no, there is actually no upgrade option, is there? There's just board vehicle. Oh my gosh. I want it so bad. All right, little drone buddy. Now I'm actually kind of curious what um, what power these use now, because they kind of went back and forth on what power they use. Like sometimes they use batteries, um, sometimes they had like a power charging station, sometimes they had whoa, oh open inventory. Start special personal assistant inventory. Follow. Um. Follow. Okay. So we have a little buddy now. That's awesome. But now we have to head back all the way to our base to make hydrazine. Oh, and because, yeah, hydrazine is made in the chemical, I think, in the chemistry lab. So, like, I don't think we can make a workbench here and make it here. So we'll just head back. Now, do you have guns and stuff on you? You used to. I don't know. Well, we made it back. We have our little buddy with us. Uh, and I think I'm just gonna have him stay here. Uh, you can just stay. Let's see, cancel follow. Uh, just stay. You're good. All right, let's go see what we need for hydrazine. Chem station. Hydrazine is hydrogen, nitrogen in a glass container. So we need to find nitrogen. We have hydrogen, so we need to find nitrogen. And we need a glass container. Easy enough. So let's go out and see if we can find some nitrogen. I know it's a white gas. Um, is that, does that show up on here? Probably not. Actually, you know what? Let's take our little buddy with us. Go on. Why not? Um, cancel stay. Follow. Do you hop in here or no? Maybe this vehicle's not big enough for him. Okay. Now, can you keep up? Like, am I gonna have to worry about you? I don't think I, uh, you know what? I don't want to have to worry about this thing. You're going to stay at the base. It said that they could hop on the vehicles, but maybe not on the buggy. Maybe in the, um, the Rover they can. Ooh, actually, let's see what you do against this thing. Do you fight? I'm curious. Okay. I'm going to shoot him with a pistol. I want to see if my, uh, my drone will fight this thing. We fight. Maybe it's not close enough. Hey, come back over here and fight me. No, 
Nah, I don't know if he's gonna fight or not. Shoot him. Get him. Get him, little buddy. You're not getting him. Okay. So maybe he don't have weapons anymore. <laughs> they used to. I don't. I don't have. I have no idea. I don't know if you have upgrade options or what. Huh. Okay. Well, just come over here then. We're gonna leave. We're gonna leave our little buddy behind for now. I almost wonder if there's like a place that I can make an upgrade for this. Uh, so cancel follow, just stay here. Okay. Let's go find our nitrogen. I think I might know where some nitrogen's at if it's in the same place that it used to be. So I think it used to be right over here. This is also the valley of the the old death worm. The giant death worm would come out right here, but I don't think that's on this planet anymore. I'm pretty sure that's on the planet of um it used to be called Zer. I don't know if it's Zer anymore or not. Do we have any white clouds of smoke around here? Huh. Yeah, there used to be a deposit like right here. Um something over here. Looks like hydrogen. Mm, bingo! Found some. Okay. We got some right here. Actually, really close to our base, too. So that... I think this is it. I mean, it, I think it's the only white gas there is. So, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a couple of canisters here. And we'll fill up these bad boys. Nitrogen, heck yeah. Awesome. Okay, so now we should be able to make some hydrazine and then we should be able to get our rover going. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. Yeah, that's actually not far from our uh, our base at all. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's pop into here. Let's make ourselves a hydrazine canister. So that took. Oh, that took all of our hydrogen. Holy moly. Okay, good to know. Uh, so we've got that now it's time to make the trek back now uh, again I'm still curious about these um, these Oompas because they used to also be able to collect resources and put them in the depositories uh, and I thought I thought that's actually what it said about the depositories was that large other stores where you can uh, where you or your bot can drop off your inventory so there must be a way to do that I just don't know yet um, okay <sighs> we've got to walk back over to the the rover buggy hot habitat rover all right we're on our way don't worry rover i'm coming back for you oh i'm so excited about this i am so oh was there seriously nitrogen right there that's funny that is hilarious okay so let's grab uh let's grab this put it in our in our hand and refuel oh wow that can hold a lot okay here we go low fuel we're heading straight back to the base wow this thing cruises oh i like this this thing is quick oh my gosh and it goes up and down hills like oh this is the way this is faster than the the buggy this is way faster than the buggy it probably does consume a lot more fuel though but like oh my gosh <laughs> oh i love it so much this is the way to get around oh we can go right over those rocks oh my gosh we have been missing out we have been missing out oh this is amazing i actually ooh, the fuel usage on it though it looks like i've used about half of that stuff already oh we're going to, have to make so much of that that's okay it'll be totally worth it now i wonder like i said i wonder if there's an upgrade option for this and i'm actually thinking that the upgrade option uh, actually what do the lights look like on this thing oh nice they're good okay um i'm thinking that the uh the upgrade options might actually be in uh, 
Man, it is super dark. For being the middle of the day, it is super dark. Um, I'm thinking the upgrade options might actually be inside of structures. Oh, we don't have it yet. So there's a laboratory. Well, there used to be a laboratory. I wonder if that's going to be unlocked as, as we build like this stuff, uh, where you could actually build the vehicles and stuff. And I wonder if the, uh, the, the upgrades will be in there possibly. I don't know. Improve your radar site, allowing you to scan all minerals in a 400 meter radius around the installation. Small radar kit dish. Actually, this would be nice to put up around the map. We'll improve your radar site, allowing you to scan in a large radius around the installation. What do we need for a small radar dish? Circuit board, scrap metal, and wire. Huh. Let me grab the scrap metal. I'm actually kind of curious about this, uh, this radar dish thing. So let's make that small radar dish kit curious and then actually i think this could be installed on the buggy too if we wanted to okay so there's that uh let's turn our light off here now we don't have a lot of resources around here oh i need food and water huh actually i'm curious this thing right here did this collect any water it didn't collect anything did it so how does this thing work extract methane precipitation collector methane detected nanocarbon solution can that be refined Oh, see, this still says dirty water. Interesting. Hmm. But I mean, I guess that's a nanocarbon solution so that we could make it into. What did we need for nanocarbon solution? Plastic? Yeah. So I mean, I guess we could make it into plastic with that, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so let's put up. I want to put up the, uh, the little satellite dish thing right here. Kind of curious. So like if we just put this up right here what does that look like on the map now oh oh and it automatically tells us oh so instead of having to be over there we can see like oh there's magnesium there medium density we can see that there's iron all around here high density is there any high density here yep there's some uh molybendium ultra high density we've got some yeah that's actually really cool that is actually super cool like i almost think that we should get those installed like around the map that'd be handy um okay so let's actually go ahead and pack this up and then let's look at the upgrades on this guy so upgrade because there was the active scanner upgrade as a small radar dish to the buggy that allows for mobile advanced scanning. See, I'm thinking we're probably still going to use the buggy for most things. Let's do it. Let's install that on there. All right. And then build. So what is this going to allow us to do? Okay. So board vehicle. Does that just like work like while we're in the area? oh okay hold on so now if i go like does it just follow me around okay so now let's go over here yes it does oh that is super handy talk about like going out and getting resources oh that's nice i wish we could do that with the big guy I mean, we could always upgrade and put uh, storage on here, storage crates. Clear dehydration detected. It's like, what's the upgrade for the storage? The tank hauler or the cargo hauler adds, adds auxiliary crates to greatly increase the storage capacity to unlock. This upgrade blocks the tank hauler. I'm not worried about that because we could always throw tanks inside the back of this, inside the cargo. Oh, let's do that. Uh, aluminum and... Let's say a little. Oh, actually, hold on. Um, cancel stay. 
follow. Now, do you hop into this thing with me? No. Interesting. I thought it said that this thing hopped in with me. Interesting. Okay, so there's that. Now, is there any like open inventory? So like this has a lot of inventory space on it. Let's see what this buggy upgraded looks like though, because like this buggy might actually be like the, the go-to vehicle. Uh, so we needed what? Four aluminum, two iron. All right, so let's see. No, I didn't want to board the vehicle. Um, oh, we need to have you stay. Uh, cancel follow and just stay. Okay, so upgrade. We're gonna do the cargo hauler upgrade. So that adds crates to the back of this. Now, do we have to individually look at these or can we just look at inventory? This holds more than the Rover does. <laughs> this holds way more than the Rover does. And it's got a radar dish to go. Like this is the vehicle, this right here. I like that thing, don't get me wrong, that's cool, but like, this thing kitted out? Like, we've got the radar dish, we've got the plutonium that it's running off of, so it runs off of like, basically no fuel cost. Uh, we've got storage out the wazoo now, so we could always throw these canisters in here full of gases if we needed to, or um, a liquid or whatever we need to, so like, if we need to go out and get a whole bunch of stuff, like, that's the way to go. The only thing I don't know is like, if you were playing multiplayer, can this actually hold two people? It looks like it should. Um, this one looks like it should hold two people as well. But like, this thing looks like it has a huge cargo area. Like, I almost feel like I should be able to open the back of this. You know what I mean? Like, I almost feel like I should be able to open the back of this to, uh, to like go up in there and like, there could be like a workbench or something in there. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what it looks like. Cause like, here, let's pop back into here. Like, I'm just looking through the windows. There's not really anything over there, but there is like a, um, something over there it looks like some kind of i don't know storage container but like there could definitely be a workbench or something back there oh that'd be cool that would be super cool we'll have to check that out but that's gonna end this episode hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like if you're new here maybe consider subscribing as well for some more uh leave a comment down below what do you think about the large rover versus the small rover because i like i love the large rover it's fast like holy moly is it fast and i guess if you need to move a lot of stuff from place to place that'd be good uh but this thing I mean, this thing actually has more cargo slots than this one does. Yeah, I think the other one has like another full row of cargo slots. So like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm honestly the buggy with the radar dish, with the plutonium, with the storage crates. Like this thing is a pretty legit vehicle. And then we got this little guy too. Um, I'm sure he'll be fun eventually. I just, I don't really know what to do with him right now. I mean, I guess, we could use them for inventory or something. I, I don't really know. <laughs> but yeah, thank you again for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.